May 7th, 2024, you cannot overstate just how important this day is for us Nintendo Switch fans that have long been awaiting Nintendo's official comment on their next-gen hardware. We have that today. We also have the exact confirmation of when the next Nintendo Direct is coming, and we know that it is a separate event not going to be focused on Switch 2, so there's a lot to unpack here. I won't waste any of your time. We're jumping right in with the monumental tweet. You know it's good when it starts off like this. This is Furukawa, president of Nintendo. We will make an announcement about the successor to Nintendo Switch within this fiscal year. It will have been over nine years since we announced the existence of Nintendo Switch back in March 2015. We will be holding a Nintendo Direct this June regarding the Nintendo Switch software lineup for the latter half of 2024, but please be aware there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during that presentation. So no code name revealed to us, which is very interesting, but we're just going to go with calling it the Switch successor or Switch 2 for simplicity until we do understand what Nintendo will finally call this thing. Maybe it's Switch Attached. Maybe that survey going around on YouTube actually had something to it, especially with the magnetic Joy-Cons. I could see Nintendo doing a name like that. I'm not a fan of that name. I want Super Nintendo Switch personally, but the important thing we have to focus in on is that he said revealed in this fiscal year, which to get on the same page with everybody, in case you're not familiar, Nintendo's fiscal year ends in March 31st, 2025, which basically means that there is no guarantee that they have to reveal it this year, meaning calendar year in 2024. Although I do think that that is what Nintendo is doing here, especially if you look at their software lineup. We've talked about the heavy focus on ports and remasters. We're going to learn more, no doubt, at the upcoming June Nintendo Direct of other games that will fill out this year. But I don't think we're going to see massive ones outside of maybe Metroid Prime 4 being like the big surprise holiday 2024 title. And I think all of Nintendo's big development effort has at this point shifted to Switch 2. And if I'm a betting man, I'm expecting some kind of official trailer announcement reveal over the summertime, maybe as late as September. And then we get maybe a deep dive trailer or a first look trailer in October. And they largely stick to a very similar play to what they did for the original Nintendo Switch, where we learn about it right before the holiday season, but we're not picking it up in stores until March of 2025. Now, there is the offshoot possibility that Nintendo wants to take more time to launch this thing, and we really don't have any kind of commitment from Nintendo to reveal it any sooner than the end of the fiscal year, which is March of 2025. So, we know for sure we're getting an official reveal and announcement by March of next year. I tend to believe the rumors and report that suggest that March of 2025 is the launch date. So at that point, in theory, we should be hearing about it this calendar year if that is when Nintendo is ramping up this thing for their planned launch with all their new big first party software. And then the Nintendo Direct confirmation is very interesting as well because we've all been talking about how once Luigi's Mansion 2 HD is released and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, well at that point we have a completed software roadmap from Nintendo with what games are upcoming and I think the June Direct is going to be a big one for them this year. I would even venture to say, since they're talking about the latter half of 2024, this might be their big presentation for the year, and due to it being a hardware transition year, I wouldn't even say that the September Nintendo Direct that historically takes place is even 100% a lock. We might just get most of the software that we're going to be able to expect to launch in 2024, all kind of confirmed to us and laid out with a loose release schedule, and then we get social media updates from there surrounding the rest of their 2024 games. I'm not expecting a ton for, for the software lineup now that we even have it straight from Nintendo's mouth that, yeah, they're going on to the Nintendo Switch successor and they're going to be revealing it in this fiscal year. This is a giant win, giant day for Nintendo fans that have been waiting for some kind of confirmation officially from Nintendo's own mouth. Now we have it from their president. This is great news. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about all of this. Are you excited for some f official word from Furukawa finally, other than we're always just constantly researching and developing new hardware, but finally a commitment to reveal the successor to the Switch? What do you think the name will ultimately be called when we do see that reveal? And when are you expecting Nintendo to acknowledge this again and actually come out with some kind of meaningful update since this post has gone live? Do you think it's gonna be over the summertime? Do you think it's September, October? Or do you think we are potentially waiting as late as March of next year before we learn about this new hardware or maybe something like a holiday 2025 launch i'm team march 2025 right now for the launch but you never know with nintendo thanks so much for watching the video today make sure you share all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below before you leave also make sure you like subscribe turn your notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video